Has it really been two years since we last spoke? Oh, guys, there's so much to talk about. Welcome to Schneider Time. We get into this there is coffee in here this is not a prop for prop's sake this is my real coffee cup there's real coffee in here and i am fully fueled and ready to go uh wow uh 2024 that's where we are 2022 i think was the last time i did this um i've had notes about what i wanted to say since 2023 so hopefully i'm prepared to talk today i hope so I want to talk today about uh, unspent potential and uh, uh, untapped potential, however you want to look at it, either way. I see a lot of really talented students, students who have got a lot of gifts and abilities. They're smart, they're creative, they're, they're confident, they're, uh, they're bold, and um, or I- any one of those things or several of those things. And then I see a lot of students who are those things, talented, creative, bold, smart, um, you have different kinds of thought patterns, unique in some particular way, and they don't engage that talent. Um, and I want to be clear, guys, just because you're smart or creative uh, doesn't mean that, um, how should I put this? Does it mean anything in a sense? Because if you don't use that talent or that gift, whatever it is, I mean, it could be something academic, something creative, something artistic, it could be athletic, it could be any, it could be any number of things. If you don't use it, what good is it? Uh, imagine a millionaire, uh, a billionaire, some incredibly wealthy person, someone just beyond the normal scope of, of earnings and wealth, and imagine that they just stop paying their bills. They don't pay, um, you know, their taxes. They don't pay. Uh, their utility bills. They don't pay for anything. They just stop paying it. They have the money, but just don't use it. At a certain point, you know, they're they're going to be in trouble. They might be wealthy still in terms of what they have in the bank, but they're going to have problems if they don't actually use their resources to to solve their problems, pay their bills. And if you, if you don't pay your taxes long enough, you're going to start losing um, your property. The the IRS or the the county's property taxes will come in and uh, you know begin to uh, put claims on your resources. And if you have actual cash on hand, you might end up seeing your bank account being seized to pay off your bills. And what does that mean for us in the in the talent discussion about talent? What I, what I mean is that like having the potential there doesn't mean um, anything if you never act upon it, if you never actualize it. If it remains potential it remains invisible in many ways. And uh, you can't, your life um, won't be impacted by the presence of this potential if you've never actually tapped into it. And so I say this not to make you feel like uh, um, like you, your talent is meaningless, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm trying to challenge you is to think about um, how are you using your talents or are you using your talents? So let, let's be clear, sometimes there's not an easy avenue as a student to use your talents. Maybe you're a really good artist but you couldn't get an art class. Um, maybe you're a really good singer, but you're not in the choir. Um, there are, I think the, the challenge in life sometimes uh, is to find your find what you're good at, find your ability, your thing you're, you're uniquely talented at, and then finding a way to use it. And that's a challenge I, I came across as an adult, and I want to put it to you uh, here uh, as, a, as a high school student. I want to challenge you in that way, not because I want to put pressure on you, <laughs> but because I want to make you aware of that's kind of the struggle of life. Finding your place in the world, finding your place uh, uh, that brings you joy is going to start with um, finding what you're good at and then finding a way to, to use that gift in your life somehow. And that can be, that can take uh, years. And that's why I'm telling you this now, that you're going to find uh, life is way more enjoyable and you can be way more passionate about what you're doing uh, if you find the thing you're good at and then find a way to do it. And it may not be where you 
you may not your job may not be in the end what you know, the, the your talent your skill it may not be a monetary thing for you but it may be a joy thing for you it may be um a passion thing for you it may be what what keeps you going you know your job might pay your bills but uh, using your talent uh, might be what feeds your soul and that's how we should think about things what uh do what do you do well that feeds your soul, makes you feel good about who you are. Find that thing and begin to use that talent and use that ability to enrich your life and perhaps even the lives of others. That's it for today. Hopefully I'll do this more often. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Refusing to use their abilities, um, at least schools out. Let's tag this at the end as a blooper.